So right then, so this is the first vid for lesson three of the modulus functions, and I hope you're enjoying it far better than the function stuff that we're doing currently as I'm recording this. So same idea, but I've got an inequality this time. So 3x plus 2, if I graph it, I know that 3x plus 2, or modulus of 3x plus 2, would look like that, crossing at 2. So 3x plus 2 is 0, so minus 2 thirds of the crossing point. And I'm looking at the 8 as well. So I'm looking there and there. So I've got y is 8, so there at 8. I want my crossing points first. So I just want signs same, signs different, uh, or positive and negative, if it's just one. So I've got a plus, 3x plus 2 is 8. So 3x plus 2 is 8, 3x is 6, x is 2. So that has to be that there, doesn't it, the 2. And then go look at this negative part, making the modulus negative. All the signs different if there were two of them. So minus 3x minus 2 is 6. Do a bit of a rearrange. Uh, mine was 8, sorry. Do a bit of a rearrange. I've got uh, minus 10 is 3x. So minus 10 over 3 for x. There. So then my two values. So I've got minus 10 over x. Uh, minus 10 over 3 for x. Right, so now I'm looking where the V shape is above the line 8. So the V shape is above the there and there. So the inequality I've got, so I've got x is less than or equal to minus 10 over 3, because V equals that. So x is less than or equal to minus 10 over 3. Or, because there's two separate bits, x is greater than or equal to 2. So I've got to wrap that around with the set notation. So x belongs to the real numbers such that. And then put my curly brackets. So the only difference I'm doing now is identifying the region. Everything else is the same. So everything else works the same. So do you know how we got this one then? So I've got the positive, I've got the negative. I've got crossing at 11, I've got crossing at minus 3. I want where the V shape is below 7. And the V shape is below 7 for that. So it should be a one joined one between minus 3 and 11. There we go. Well, look, there's no equals on the inequality. There's no equals on the inequality. See, how nice is that? It's just nice compared to range and domain and composite functions. Inverses are nice. Uh, composites just get you. Right, let's have a look at the second example then. So this time we've got... I'm looking where x plus 2 is less than 3x minus plus 1 for the modulus. Right, so once again, 3x plus 1 is deeper. So the x plus 2 will be a shallower curve I'm going to draw. Oops, that's x plus 2. Going at 2 and minus 2 there. So that's the modulus of x plus 2. The modulus of 3x plus 1 will be much steeper. It'll go like that, like that. So that's going to cross there at uh, 1. That's going to be minus a third, isn't it? But you can't see the minus a third there. Right, so we've got 2. It's very, very kind of enclosed with what I've got there. Um, I wish I'd not drawn my, uh, my graph quite as steep now. I wonder if I can make it look a little bit shallower. Is it too late? Have you drawn that? If you draw it looking like that, then fair enough. If you draw it a little bit shallower, it helps you out a little bit. 
So vars are point, vars are point. So, so modulus of three x plus one. So remember, remember how we do it. We say sine is the same and sine is different. So sine is the same finds where the original parts cross each other or where the reflections cross each other. So the original part of one graph crosses the original part of another or the reflection of one graph crosses the reflection of the other. So that's going to give me 2x is 1, a half per x. So I'm expecting that that will be the half. And then the sign's different. Make the easiest one minus. So I'm going to have minus x plus 2. So I've got minus x minus 2 is 3x plus 1. Take the x over. Take the 1 over. Minus 3 quarters for x. You can kind of see that that point there is minus 3 quarters. Duff picture really, isn't it? I should spread it out a little bit more. Right, so where am I looking then? So I'm looking where, according to my colour scheme, where the shallow V, so the shallow V is below the steep V. So where is my shallow V below the steep V? And if you look, that's off to the sides. There. Um, yeah. So my shallow V is below my steep V. So I've got X is less than minus a third or X, not minus a third, is it? Minus three quarters. I picked up the wrong point. It's that one there, isn't it? The minus three quarters. It's me with my dodgy drawing. Sorry about that. So X is less than minus three quarters or X is greater than a half, then X belongs to the real numbers. There we go. There. So be really careful with that one. So our pitch is a bit more. But you can actually just graph it. Once again, you can just graph it and get the points of intersection. And then decide which bit's yours. Question for you to have a go at. Oops. Uh oh. <laughs> I seem to have deleted the answers. There. There. There we go. There. That's a bit sneaky, isn't it? Doing with just the zero bit. Don't need that minus. Just do signs the same. So I'd have done the minus x minus 3 is equal to 2x plus 3. So minus x plus 3 is 2x plus 3. So I would have had a 3x is 0. x is 0. How certain are you that that's on 0, eh? You get your calculator to be fair. And then I'm looking where my my shallow V is above my steep V. How much time am I on? There. There we go. What do you reckon? Can so oh no, there's another example. <laughs> I thought we were done. Right, I'll stop the vid and do this. We'll do a vid for this one and then it's consolidation, isn't it?